and that just slowly keeps coming out? Yeah. Wow. It's so slow you won't see it through. So this is the People water. Don't really think far enough that they think you're going to see a turd. And... So this is showers, sinks, garbage disposals, or anything like that? Everything. Commodes. All your signs. It's a lot clearer than I thought it would be for well, just the raw water. It doesn't smell that bad either. Toilet paper and stuff like that is designed to break up quick yeah. and be real fine products. And if you look at it close, you can kind of see it's, that's what it yeah, is. Yeah, you can see little bits of whatnot, but it's really not that gross. What's, is that light just for nighttime? It's not a light. That's an ultrasonic flow meter that's okay. sending the signal down there and measuring the flow to calculate how many gallons it's coming in. Okay. Did you see the aeration? Everything comes in, comes in on this main line. So the way you explained this to me was the outer ring here is it's the first, first stage first, first of stage. the bacteria beginning to break down the organic matter. And then over time it works farther it, and farther to the center ring. Whatever, whatever comes in here is pushing that much out to the second ring, which is pushing it out through the third ring. Okay. And the outside ring is about equal in volume to the inner two rings. And this whole thing is called the... Oxidation ditch. Oxidation. So oxidation comes from the fact that you are literally getting dissolved oxygen into the water by running it through right, like a little waterfall food. there to right. give and the oxygen for the microbes to yes. do their thing. That, their dual purpose, they're putting oxygen in the water and they're keeping it moving, keeping it in the ditch, circulating. So okay. Mixed up there. And, uh, the DO. If the DO starts getting too low, it'll cut on more aerators until they're all running. If it gets too high, it'll cut off 50%. But it'll always leave like this outside one and that outside one on the far side. It will never cut them all off. Because too much DO just means a waste of energy. Okay. Too little DO is going to create a dying effect on good microbes and still mass bacteria that will start to thrive and take over, which creates an upset. Wow, so you've got chemistry, you've got microbiology, you've got a, a lot of science here for this. A and a lot of science that goes into a wastewater treatment. And I don't want to forget to include in the video that he did say there is job there are jobs that are needed in the state of Virginia to work places like this. Okay. The water right here is going for disinfection. If you look out in the center, you can kind of see where it's coming up. Um, that's coming from the inner ring. It's coming on from the that inner ring. Okay. It goes to a splitter box right here, and then it splits the flow. So half. from there to the center of here. Now these paddles look like they move. Does they this do, thing rotate? But they do not do any mixing. They move so slow, what they're doing is they're skimming the top. And then when the pump comes on to pump the solids off the bottom to uh -huh. put back to, to the headworks, um, it's, one of these has got a trough with holes in it on the bottom, and it sucks from the bottom. Okay, well, I didn't even notice. Yeah, that guy right there is moving. Yeah, they move, but they move so slow that they do not create any mixing because yeah. here's where we do want it to settle. But we're trying to get any floating particles off. Um, you'll have little this, that little bit of white stuff you see. Uh -huh. That's basically little particles of grease. Okay. That we're trying to skim off, get in the trough to remove out of the. System. I know that's always a no-no for people in their homes. Like students might want to know if you ever cook bacon or something like that, you don't want to put grease you down want the to drain. You dry into... wipe all pans and throw it. So to paper get that towels grease out. to the grease. Well, and see, it's also bad for the homeowner because yeah. it gets in the line, it sets up in the line, it will eventually block the line and clog it, and then you're looking at expensive repair bills. Yeah. So we just came it. from up there, and now we're down to where ultraviolet light is used to finally sanitize and kill off any bacteria it, it that's exiting the the treatment plant could to go back into the pig river. It goes back to the river. When it okay. goes through disinfection, it is treated with the ultraviolet light and discharged from the river. So you said the light is so intense I could it's like looking at a welding torch that yes. I could blind myself so it I don't want to like a tanning bed. It literally explodes. Okay, so it's like a super state. tanning bed to fry anything microbial. So is it happening down there? It's happening in the water. As long as they're in the water they won't hurt you. Uh-huh. You'll look there, oh yeah, I can see a little bit of light down there. Okay. 
cool. And this is better than using, you said, chlorine or chlorine. chemicals or stuff like that. Yeah, the disinfection that most people use is chlorine. Can I stand on this? Yes. You got to sit right there the floor. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yeah. So is this done? Is this This like... is done. This is headed to the river. Now we have a little bit of foam right now because uh -huh. our process is on the young side. And we use bleach up there to kill microbes. So is that the river right over there? That's the river right there. And the river wraps all around here. So there's just a pipe down here at the end that kind of go, takes it out to the river? Mm -hmm. When it goes through the flow measurement right there, it drops over seven steps. So it kind of lets, picks it up and drops it to help pick up oxygen in the air before it goes to the river, the species in the river. I did not know that. So it, it needs, did you say six I think milligrams it's six. It's either six or of six dissolved five. oxygen to support life in the river? If not, your fish and everything else would die because the water would be stagnant. Okay. Okay, so here's where I don't want to drop my phone. You don't want to this drop is the phone digester. These tanks. Oh, so the digesting that's being done here is the bacteria eating the waste. This is the digestive waste. Okay. Uh, so you just want to give us a summary here so the students can get the main idea of what's happening? All the wastewater goes to our oxidation ditch, goes through the first channel to the second to the third. That is the treatment process. Flows out of the oxidation ditch to the clarifiers. This is where it's allowed to settle. Clear water is going to go for disinfection. What settles comes back up to the oxidation ditch. Okay. Once a day we pull out of the clarifiers control the amount of solid we put into the digester. Okay. We're putting about 15 to 20,000 gallons a day into for the digestion. The water that goes out for disinfection goes down here and goes through our ultraviolet lights and then goes to the river. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much for the tour.